Dear students, welcome to ECA1 class. In this video, we will discuss the Thevenin theorem examples. In this example, we have to find the Thevenin equivalent circuit for the network in the shaded area of the break network. We have to find Thevenin equivalent circuit between these two points A and B. In the first step, replace load resistor from A and B point. Now, in order to find R Thevenin between these two points, we have to remove that voltage source with a short circuit. So, we replace that voltage source with a short circuit. Now, you can see from circuit that R1 is basically parallel to R3 and R2 is parallel to R4. When we redraw this circuit, it looks like this. R3 is parallel to R1, R4 is parallel to R2. So, R Thevenin is equal to basically it is equal to the resistance between A and B is equal to R1 parallel to R3 plus R2 parallel to R4. When we substitute the values of R1, R3, R2, R4 in the parallel combination, we will get the value of R Thevenin which is equal to 5 ohms. Now, in second step, we have to find the value of V E Thevenin. So, from the figure, you will see that if we apply KVL to this loop, we will find the value of E Thevenin. But first we need the value of V1 and V2. When we have the value of V1 and V2, applying KVL to this loop, we will get the value of E Thevenin. Now from the figure you will see that this E is basically parallel to these two resistors and it is parallel to these two resistors also. So, the value of the voltage at this point is basically equal to 72 volt and also at this point is 72 volt. So, first we apply VDR to this loop in order to find the value of V1. So, V1 is equal to R1E divided by R1 plus R3. Substituting the values, we will get the value of V1 which is equal to 48 volt. So, we get 48 volt. Now, we apply KV as voltage divided rule to this loop in order to get the value of V2. So V2 is equal to R2E divided by R2 plus R4. Substituting the values, we get the value of V2 which is equal to 54 volt. Now, applying KVL to this loop because we have the value of V1 and V2. When we apply KVL, we see that E Thevenin plus V1 minus V2 is equal to 0. Substituting the values, we get the value of E Thevenin, which is equal to 6 volt. Now we have R Thevenin and E Thevenin, so we can redraw our circuit or Thevenin. So we have a Thevenin equivalent circuit for this shaded region in which we have only a voltage source and a series resistor. Repla uh, place load resistor to its original position between the points A and B. That is our equivalent circuit for that shaded region. So, in the next example, we have to find the Thevenin equivalent circuit for the network in the shaded region. R is the load resistor across which we have to find the Thevenin equivalent circuit. In the first step, replace, remove RL from point A and B. Now we have to find our Thevenin, so we have to set the voltage sources to zero and replace all these sources with the short circuit. Now you will see that R3, R2, R1 are in parallel combination with R4 in series when we are going to find out our Thevenin. So our Thevenin is basically equal to R4 plus R1 parallel to R2 parallel to R3. So we get the value of R Thevenin is equal to 2 kilo ohms. Now, in the second step, we have to find the value of E Thevenin, which is basically the open circuit voltage between A and B point. Now, from the figure, you will see that we have two voltage sources. So, apply superposition theorem to find the value of E Thevenin. So, First, we have to take only a single source, E1, and short the other voltage source. Now, we have to find that open voltage, open uh, circuit voltage at point A and B. So, E Thevenin is basically equal to the voltage across R3 because R3 is parallel to that point. 
here r4 is considered to be equal to 0 because no current is flowing in this resistor because of that open circuit that's why v4 is equal to 0 so rt the total resistance of this circuit is equal to r1 uh, sorry r2 parallel to r3 when we solved it it becomes a series circuit and when we apply voltage divided root at that point we will get the value of v3 which is equal to e prime e theven and prime so v3 is equal to r prime t which is 2.4 kilo ohm into e1 divided by r prime t which is equal to 2.4 kilo ohm when we substitute the values we get the value of e theven and prime which is equal to 4.5 volt now consider e2 source and uh, set e1 as 0 with an short circuit so when we apply when we see the circuit we have to find the value of e theven and e e theven and double prime at this point now same is the case here r4 is considered to be zero because no current is flowing into this circuit into this resistor due to that open circuit so e theven is basically equal to v3 because v3 is parallel to e theven so r prime t is equal to r1 which is parallel to r3 which is equal to 0 0.706 kilo ohm so apply vdr to the simple circuit when we have two resistors v3 is equal to r prime t e2 divided by r prime t plus r2 when we substitute the values we get the value of v3 which is equal to 1.5 volts v3 is basically equal to e theven and double prime which is equal to 1.5 volt now we have the voltage e theven and prime and e theven and double prime so the net e theven and is equal to is equal to e theven and single prime minus e theven and double prime the value of e theven and single prime is 4.5 volt and e theven and double prime is 1.5 volt the net E theven is equal to 3 volts. The polarity of E theven and single prime is used. So this is our equivalent theven and circuit for the shaded region. Place your load resistor to its original position between A and B. That's all for today's lecture. If you have any question, comment in comment bar. Thank you very much.